so today I participated in watching a uh, um, program that allowed me an opportunity to participate in a very positive, positive um, message. Um, end result in selling of a whole program um, to make people aspire to have and be and want good things for their life. Um, and I guess if you um, need the lessons and need to go through a training session, um, then this is the one appropriate way that you could do it. Um, it was very loving, kind, um, considerate, uh, caring, um, giving you a way of growth and uh, teaching you opportunity. Um, but I have a lesson that's free. My free lesson comes from a book that's been written years and years ago. And it's called the Bible. Oh, I lost a few of you there. And that's okay. God's going to find you one way or another if you're meant to go that direction. Um, he'll hit you up a different way. It won't be Deborah um, that's changing your life and sending you in a way that's loving and good. Um, understand that what I'm sending out is love, not judgment, not making decisions about what your life should be, who you are, any of the things that are going on right now. I'm not doing that because, because God said to love and love is what we need to do, all right? Every individual has a soul and an aura of them that is uniquely theirs, and God has given it to them. And irregardless of you look at that individual and you say, oh, well, that person is this or that. You've made a judgment. You've already made a judgment. You are not looking at them as a person of God, that God created this person. God created that individual you're standing in front of, you're standing beside, and their spirit lives. God knows their spirit. God knows who they are. That's what's important. Treat them with kindness and love. And if for some reason they get argumentative or they get angry at you, just smile and walk away and understand that they're going through something. And maybe the devil's gotten a hold of them. And he's taking control of them for the moment. Okay? But understanding is so important. But love helps with that understanding. If you have love, overwhelming love, and you're keeping that in your heart and you feel that for somebody, regardless of what comes out of their mouth, you walk away from them without this ugliness that people are doing right now, okay? And uh, that's what's going to beat the evil of this world. The love that we put into it is what's going to beat the evil of this world, okay? Can you get that? Can you understand that? So, anyway, I, I watched this program. The individual is trying to sell a program, which it's, it was about goodness. It was about building yourself up. It was about positive things to help you make a change. So if you are a person that needs and doesn't know that the scripture and the Bible can help you through anything, I'm telling you, if you don't believe me, you bring up a question, you can use your cell phone. You can Google it. Bring up your problem and it will give you scripture from the Bible that will tell you where you need to go to see what God and Jesus has said about that problem and how to tackle it and work your way through it. It's an amazing book that has all the answers. There was a gentleman that used to work with me 
And we talked and I said, when I was a child, I did not grasp the Bible. I didn't get it. But as I have walked through my life, and I am about to be 65 years old, as I have walked through my life, I have found that it is what some people have called it, the book of life, okay? So what opens up in the book, in the Bible, is what you need at that time in your life. You may not see the answers, the, the questions you have, but when you hit that time in your life, when you are supposed to know and understand what is in that Bible, that's when it will open up to you. That's when you will see the scripture that says to you and gives you the answer. It is a book of life. As a teenager, I'm not gonna read that and understand what I need to know about marriage. No, I'm not gonna know that. But I might be knowing about temptation and I might be learning about other things as a young person or um, maybe somebody out of college. And I wanna know about working. I wanna know about whether I want to get married or not. Those answers are in that Bible. Question the Bible. Look for the answers in the Bible. It has those things in there for you. But again, there are so many wonderful positive speakers out there that are throwing out positivity and everything. And they are directly aligned with what you will find in the Bible. And just know, if no one has told you that Jesus loves you, if you feel like when you go to church, they don't tell you that Jesus loves you and you feel like they are being negative to you, that's not, that's not your church. That's not someone who's following the Lord because the Lord says to love, to love. I knew a lady who said, Deborah, I just don't know how I can do how I can feel about somebody who is a certain way. And I said, you don't have to feel the same as they do. You don't have to agree with that issue that they have, with who they are, but love them. Love their soul. Love them. Embody them as a, as a child of God, as a sister or brother, in life, in this world that God has created, give them love, gracie, mer gracie, grace, graciousness, grace and mercy and joy and goodness and kindness and just love that person, okay? Just love that person. They'll find their way. And the thing is, our job is not to judge anyone here on this earth but to love them okay because the Lord knows I have my own demons that I deal with that I've gone through I have been through so much stuff through childhood sadness and many other things in my life and my spirit is good I feel God every day I told them, everyone the other day that God told me to be happy in my own backyard. I put that out there. And some people would not have done something like that. But I did. Because God wanted me to let you know that your happiness is as, as close as your own backyard. Be with your family. Be with your husband. Be with your partner. Be with your children, be with your animal, be with your nature, be with, be with God, be with love. I want only the best for you. I love you as a human. We are good. God made us in his own image, right? I look like this. God had a sense of humor when he created this. <laughs> oh, 
I've had people be jealous because I had blonde hair, which is turning colors, which is the only thing about being blonde hair is that the blonde hair turns different colors and then you get gray and then you get whatever. I don't know. I got wrinkles in my face. What were you jealous about if you were ever jealous of me? I don't know. I don't know. I have blue eyes. Uh, if you have brown eyes, green eyes, brown hair, black hair, gray hair, purple hair, pink hair, green hair, I don't care. I love you. I love you. And God loves you. God loves you. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. See how he loved you. He went to the cross for you. He died for you, people. He died for you. Our God died for you. Our Jesus. Our Jesus died for you. How can we not love you when Jesus died for you? Be good. Love one another. Don't let hate rule this world. Bye for now.